our Intrepid Electronic Hearing Protection from Warbird. And while you may have never heard of that brand, that's okay. You will be hearing much more about them. Because one, they make great headphones, and two, your hearing is protected. So let's hear more about the Intrepid. And this is what you get in the box. Both the standard version on the left and the Bluetooth version on the right come with a USB-C charging cable and a padded carrying case. This is the Warbird Intrepid RC. These are electronic firearms hearing protection, and it has a USB micro port to recharge its internal battery. It has a 3.5mm audio jack port to connect it to devices or a phone, though few phones have audio jacks anymore, so they have a Bluetooth version. The headbands are nicely padded in leather or possibly faux leather and suede, and the wiring is reinforced at its attachment points on the ear cup, so overall nice build quality. The ear cups have a tough polymer shell, and looking at the ear pads, they are gel, not foam, so that's a nice upgrade. They look very similar to premium replacement ear pads for Howard Lights, but these appear to be firmly attached to the ear cups and not use a replaceable. They do provide an excellent seal as far as my head shape and ears are concerned, and are quite comfortable. Overall, they vaguely remind me of Howard Lights, but better build quality and materials, and using button controls instead of a dial. In a nice design touch, the power button is recessed so you can identify it by feel, and it turns on and off with a long press. There's an audible cue to tell you when the unit is turned on and off, and there is an auto shut off feature after a few hours to conserve battery life. They also make a Bluetooth version, the Intrepid BT, which easily syncs with your Bluetooth enabled device to hear sound, as well as your phone to make and receive calls. All right, we're gonna test out these headphones here, and Warburg claims that their Intrepid RC has a noise reduction rating or NRR rating of 23, which means that this can reduce ambient sound by 23 decibels or thereabouts. And for testing, we're gonna be using this Dyson hand vac, which is quite loud. Understandably, it's not a perfect analog for gunfire here. And, um, but you know, we'll see how much these headphones reduce the sound of this hand vac here. And let's just see how loud this is. Okay, so that got to like 105 at one peak on there. So let's just call it 104, uh, just to be charitable here. And we're gonna slip over these ear cups over the microphone here. And this is not quite ceiling. Well, then again, this is not the shape of a human head. So I'm just gonna squeeze it just a little bit, just so we get a, a decent seal. Now this is not a perfect analog for gunfires, but uh, you know, it's pretty loud, so. Let's see how much this headphone reduces the sound by. All right, we saw like maybe 77, even 78 perhaps on this, but that is more than 23 decibels in reduction, sound noise reduction. So I'm, I'm gonna say, yeah, this is uh, this NRR rating of 23 it seems pretty legit. Over the course of the next three weeks, I wore the Intrepid at the rifle range. They were excellent at momentarily cutting out the noise of my own firearms as well as those shooting around me. They offered a very tight seal around my ears, perhaps a bit too tight. They were a little pinchy after about 45 minutes, but that can often happen with new headsets and they do tend to loosen up with use or I could just bend open the headband a little wider, but for the sake of testing, I left it as is for the time being. For an even more exacting performance test, I brought it to a range safety officer training night for Action Pistol, where it's just as critical to hear sounds as well as block them out. To qualify, you have to clearly be able to hear and communicate with the instructors next to you, 
The headphones function flawlessly. They cut out the sound of gunfire, yet gave me excellent situational awareness. I could hear the conversations going on around me and identify which direction they were coming from and from which shooters, and I could even hear subtle details like safeties being engaged and disengaged, making these excellent headphones not just for shooters, but instructors. All right, before we start talking about the Warbird Intrepids, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, especially if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. It's absolutely free. It just takes a second to do that. And now you can also become a member of my channel on YouTube. And members get early access to my review videos weeks ahead of everybody else. Plus you get invited to special live streams and private chats where I give away some of the items that I review. And I want to thank Warbird for sending these out for me to test because to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't have picked them up on my own because I'd never heard of the brand before. But I was pleasantly surprised by how well they performed. And I've reviewed and tested quite a number of headphones, um, everything from budget to bougie. In fact, my go-to headphones that I wear at the range most of the time are inexpensive Howard Light Impact Sports. And I've tested those against you know the other sort of more popular budget brand, the uh, Walker Razors. I'll include a link to that video uh, in this description, uh, but you really have to get into really more expensive headphones over $150 into the $200 range to get the quite of quality sound that you're getting with these headphones. The sound quality you get on this when you're listening to, to sounds, either through the audio jack at the bottom or a Bluetooth, is actually pretty darn good. I would say that these are pretty legit audio headphones. Now you might think like, well, who cares? Um, you know, I'm not gonna be using this to be listening to my, my games or my, my music. But here's the thing, when you're hearing sound around you that's amplified, that's supposed to be realistic to what's going on around you, to be able to hear fine details, are, are the shells falling to my right or to, my, to behind me? You know, that sort of where are your, your shells ejecting? Th those kind of details are important. And for hunters to be able to not only hear which direction the prey is that you're going after, but also what kind of prey is in, 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 that's making the noises in, in the bush. Is it um, something small like a squirrel versus something a little bit larger uh, like a raccoon versus, some, versus a deer? And you may think, oh, my headphones have pretty good sound quality. Here's one way you can test it. Use the audio port. Now, if you have a three and a half inch audio port jack, plug it in, or if you have Bluetooth, plug it into uh, your phone or your computer and listen to a good piece of music that you're familiar with and listen to, to the sound quality. And I bet you, your headphones, your, your ear pro, are gonna sound like crap. They're gonna sound like the cheap headphones that you would get for free on a flight. And compared to these, these sound pretty darn good. So yeah, I would say these these are these are pretty pretty decent headphones for something under a hundred bucks. Uh, one thing though, um, when you turn them off, and they do have auto shut off, at least that's what they tell me. I haven't actually had these turn off on me at the range, uh, and I don't know exactly how long they stay on. I'm guessing probably an hour and a half to, to three hours. Let me know in the comments if you if you actually know, because I haven't been able to find that in the literature that they have. But here's the thing. When you turn these off manually, you um, and when you turn it on, by the way, when you turn it on, you get a, this sort of warbling sound, like whoa, 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 whoa. That, that is this, the tone that you get. It's not just a beep, you get this sort of warbling sound. And when you turn it off, you get a lower warbling sound. And I'm like, one, sometimes you can barely hear that, and two, it's a missed opportunity. When you turn this off, look, the name's Warbird. You should be hearing this. And if you're interested in picking up a pair of these Intrepid headphones, you can find product links and discount codes in my full written review at moondogindustries.com. Look for a link in this video's description. If those discount codes expire, please let me know in the comments and I will update my website. And the fact that you're still watching this video at this point probably means you liked it, so don't forget to hit that like button before this video ends. Anyway, thanks for watching. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to moondogindustries.com.